This is the Kuga plug-in hybrid. Let's have a brief look into how we charge the high voltage battery. The Kuga PHEV comes with two charging cords, a Type 2 Mode 2 and a Type 2 Mode 3. Type 2 is the description of the connector that fits in the vehicle and this is the most commonly used connector for both plug-in hybrids and electrical vehicles in Europe. Mode 2 is a general description of the charging method which is used to charge your vehicle. Mode 2 is recognized by this box attached to the cable. This box checks the connection to your house and senses the power output from the wall socket. You can check that the wall outlet is ok by inserting the wall socket. If the upper light, the green light, stays green, you know it's ok. It's also a good practice to plug into your house before the vehicle. Then you plug in the vehicle, the connector locks and the vehicle starts to communicate with the box. This is what's going on when the light ring is flashing a sequence in white. Let's have a look. Once the vehicle and the box have performed a handshake and agreed on the charging terms, the charging starts with the power output that reflects the power input to the box. Now you can see the light ring is flashing blue and charging is accepted. Each blue segment reflects 20% state of charge at the high voltage battery. This may look like an extension cord, but it's absolutely not. This is the Mode 3 charge cord, which is designed for higher power outputs in wall boxes and public charging points. As you can see, there is no box attached to the cord. The box we recognize from the Mode 2 cord is now replaced by a wall box. The communication is now directly between the wall box and the vehicle. After the handshake has been approved, the charging start in the same way as with the Mode 2. The power in your house is AC or alternating current. The disadvantage with the AC is that it cannot be stored. So in order to do that, we have to convert it to DC or direct current for storage in the high voltage battery. That is done with the onboard charger which is located under the vehicle on the right hand side, right here. The onboard charger, which is an AC-DC converter, has a limitation for the power output. At the Kuga PHEV, this is 3.7 kW. This means that if you come across a wall box with 11 kW output, your Kuga will still only accept 3.7 kW. In other words, the charge time will not decrease with any output higher than 3.7 kW. From the onboard charger underneath your vehicle, the power flows to the DC-DC converter and then continues to the high voltage battery. The high voltage battery could also be charged while driving. That job is done by a generator inside the transmission down here. How much you are charging is depending on the selected drive mode and your driving style. However, you are always regenerating a bit of power when you are braking, so that means you are also charging your high voltage battery to a certain extent. When selecting Eco mode, your vehicle will generate slightly harder and you will have a bit more power generated to the high voltage battery. Pushing the L button at the gear switch gives you an even harder regeneration and is handy when you're driving steep downhill. If the connector isn't fully inserted, it will not lock and the charging will not start. Then you might have an orange light in the light ring as well.
If your charge core is fully inserted and the light ring still illuminates orange, this can indicate an error in the vehicle. If the light ring flashed orange, then it could be an issue with the handshake with the charger. Then you're likely to see an error message or warning light at the charger as well, in addition to the orange light. If it is impossible to release the connector for some reason, then please pull the emergency handle. The easiest access is to pull the steel wire on the inside of the front fender. This solution is also used for public charging and the power output could vary a lot between the different charging stations. And also, do not use extension cord. This was a short intro of the charging system. Hope you liked it and see you soon.